Hello everyone, this is Dr. Imran Deshmukh from India and uh, today we'll be discussing posterior subcapsular cataract, how to approach this case. So usually these cases have a very soft nucleus and we start by making side port incisions 1.5 millimeter in size, 120 degrees apart and uh, there you go, those are two side ports. Now time for the main wound incision, we use a 2.8 keratome this is a biplanar incision yeah a very well made incision and uh, now it's time to use the blue dye to stain the anterior capsule so um, we usually use the blue dye to stain the anterior capsule so that while making recess it becomes a bit easy inflate the anterior chamber with a visco don't over inflate so i usually use a 26 gauge uh, cystitome and I enter to the side ports and uh, I avoid using the main port because that causes a lot of fluctuation in the anterior chamber so now you can see a round circular 5 millimeter size axis is being made well that's going fine that's going smooth be slow and steady during the step this is one of the finest and most important steps in phaco emulsification cataract surgery so here you go a round circular axis is made it's time for hydro dissection. A 27 gauge candle is used. A small gush of fluid is used. See, you can see the wave, the wave, and um, tap at the center of the nucleus so the excess of fluid comes out. And now, yeah, the nucleus is a bit free. We now insert the phaco probe to the main wound and the sinuscute from the side port. Start trenching from first half of the nucleus and don't be too deep now rotate the nucleus and trench the other half and see that the depth is adequate and use the Sinsky and now divide yeah that, that's a nice divide see now it's been divided in two parts here we're going for a stop and chop but as the nucleus is very soft it becomes very hard so now what I've decided is to go for divide and conquer technique yes you see how soft it is so it can easily be divided now they're divided into four parts more like four parts of the pizza so as the nucleus is very soft even a little vacuum use can bring those pieces out of the bag and it's very easy to emulsify these nuclear fragments see use your left hand for all the maneuver and make your phaco uh, probe in the center stable don't move your phaco probe too much see how easily it's being emulsified the last part needs to be emulsified at ultrasound 4 mode which has a very low vacuum yeah and now for removing the cortex no I would not recommend the uh, juniors the fellows to do this you need experienced surgeons for doing that for removing the cortex always use your uh, irrigation and aspiration probe so here we're using a coaxial IA probe see how easily the cortex is being removed you need to swing you need the swinging movement see the last part should be the sub incisional cortical matter uh, because that's the toughest part and now it's time for polishing the ca posterior capsule okay that's pretty fine that's nice that's looking neat okay I think the polishing is done now it's time for implanting the IOL we are using the technique of hydro implantation over here we use a 23 gauge uh, irrigation candle over here and um, this saves time and few steps as you don't need to use visco so now the a single piece hydrophilic lens is being used the leading haptic going in the bag the trailing haptic in the sulcus so you can use any instrument I use a T-pusher to push the IOL in the bag well that's nice that's a well centered IOL in the bag okay that looks clean that looks neat so now it's time for hydration of the wounds so don't over hydrate use a little bit of hydration and for the main wound the outer one third lip hydrate that don't overhydrate, and um, I usually like to put an air bubble uh, in the AC to maintain the stability 
okay that's done so it's now time for intracameral moxifloxacin okay it's done i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching